Let's come to the first topic that is human resource information system and HR process. As we already discussed human resource information system is nothing but we try to maintain the entire human resource process with the help of a computer based application. That's what exactly human resource information system is all about. So we are going to look at it actually you know, how this human resource information system is going to work and what are the kind of you know, HR process are involved in that. Now let's come to the you know, HRIS definitions. In general, you know, it says that it's nothing but a system and process at the, inter uh, you know, at the intersection between HRM and IT. That is IT enabled applications. We are trying to you know, probably maintain an HR department that's what exactly human resource information system is all about or in others other sense it is merged with an HRM discipline with IT field with the help of an IT field applications we are trying to maintain the HRM activities or it's nothing but an electronic tool used to access HR related information and perform HR related functions like it could be let's say training and development or it could be labor relations or it could be a strategic related HR or it could be a global HR, international HR. These are the various actually, you know, the entire uh, computer-based computer applications have been used and ultimately, you know, it will help the HR managers in performing an HR function more efficiently and effectively to, you know, probably systematically using a technology enabled kind of, you know, tools and ultimately, you know, which will, uh, in, a, in, a, in other sentence, actually, you know, HRIS can be defined as it is nothing but acquiring, acquiring a data or probably acquiring an employee and employee you know acquisition data related uh, you know uh, 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 what you call it is uh, uh, acquiring a candidates and storing it storing the data manipulate the data or analyze the data and ret retrieve the data and distribute that particular you know data and information regarding an organizational human resources to all the stakeholders that's what exactly human resource information system talks about now let's try to look at it. What is the functions of a human resource information system? By using a human resource information system, first number one, fundamentally, all your manual records can be you know made it as a computer-based records. That means computerized records will be available. So you can make an accurate and time-to-time -time updated employee records can be maintained with respect to let's say employee leave details or with respect to let's say employees you know uh, their uh, loan application details their personal uh, informations it could be about their uh, job related information whatever training the employee has attended those related details and recent what is the kind of a performance appraisal he has got it all these details actually we can maintain so these are the ways actually you know we can maintain n number of employee records and uh, and other than that your salary detail and your uh, PF related details, if any medical benefits have been provided, those related details, likewise, all the things we can maintain. And the second thing is actually, you know, by maintaining this human resource information system, we can ensure the legal compliance. When we talk about legal compliance, take an example, let's say labor laws effectively talks about, uh, you know, there are certain kind of a mandatory uh, welfare benefits has to be provided to the employees and like let's let's say it could be you know now the ceiling from uh, for a pf uh, amount earlier actually gross amount gross salary of 6500 is more than enough and beyond 6500 if anybody is getting it they will not fall under uh, you know they need not to be covered under pf and that's the way if you look into it now that particular gross salary they increased to 15000 and uh, they say that Whichever you know employees are getting a basic pay of less than fifteen thousand, mandatorily has to be you know provided and you know provident fund, and that's a legal compliance. Similar way, you know if you look into it, ESI facilities has to be provided for a person who is getting salary of you know less than seven thousand gross uh, total income. So like like this actually you know various kind of you know mandatory kind of legal compliances are there. All these legal compliances we can able to you know meet it very very effectively by following a proper kind of you know human resource information system because that particular human resource information system itself will give you a complete kind of an idea as to what is the kind of you know uh, labor laws has to be followed and the third thing is we can able to forecast and plan and future hr requirement what are the kind of requirements are there and it will reduce the manual work we don't need to you know keep writing and then maintain a record separately automatically using a human resource information system we can able to you know maintain everything and ultimately you know it will assist managers by providing the relevant data whenever required 
So that's the way actually, you know, if let's say uh, you want a you know, complete salary statement for the entire year for a computation of let's say form 16 or IT related, you know, income tax related, uh, TDS, uh, you know, uh, uh, related details, all these details we can able to, you know, compute it by just click of the button. So this is an advantage of, you know, going for a human resource information system. And uh, let's try to look at it, who are the major stakeholders or users of human resource information system. Obviously, needless to say, your HR professionals like HR, HR executives or HR managers, uh, whoever is into generalist, uh, they will also use the human resource information system. Other than that, a lot of support staff, people who are generating a payroll or whoever is actually you know, maintaining a record and record keeping, those people will be using it. Your low level employees, middle level employees, uh, higher level employees, upper level employees, executives and directors, all these people are the major users of human resource information system because it's essential to you know probably have the complete details about human resource. But not all the information will be available to all the levels of people. There, there can be, you know, restrictions can be, you know, brought in and, uh, you know, you can give the user authorizations. Now, let's come to the, you know, HR processes. HR process always start with the recruitment. When we talk about recruitment, it's nothing but it's a way or it's a, you know, strategy through which you try to search the product, uh, you know, search the kind of, you know, source for recruiting an employee or probably, you know, selecting an employee. And once recruitment function has been done at the end of a recruitment function we might end up in collecting lot of prospective employee or candidates details and all with that we go ahead with the shortlisting and selection next step and uh, in the selection process we apply a right kind of a tool to you know get the right people for a right kind of a uh, position and the third thing is like once we brought in people into the employee that means once we selected the employee we need to give them an induction and training to make sure that they orient with our company and uh, again you know the training there are two types of training is there one is for the current job and even for the future job also you know uh, we need to train them and then develop so that internally we can able to build a lot of talent pool and once we have given them a training we put them on the real time job and we need to evaluate at the end of certain cycle as to what is their performance appraisal level and what is their level of performance and we need to evaluate and their work efficiency and based on that rating has to be provided and as an outcome of it either promotion or a demotion or probably you know separations or whatever kind of a decisions HR can be able to take it. So for the entire HR process this human resource information system completely supports. So that's the way actually you know if you look into it. Uh, human resource information system is a very very important kind of you know this thing and uh, in addition to it actually there are a lot of other additional functions like employee relations when we talk about employee relations uh, we try to you know probably maintain a very good relationship with the employees by you know directly sending a mail sending them a pay slip every month and making sure that whatever their welfare benefits we provide on time and uh, record keeping of all the personal related details like their family details uh, previous company history details whichever company they work within the company which are the other department he worked in all this kind of a record we can maintain and the other most important thing is the compensation and benefits whatever kind of an appropriate salary and then benefit has been provided both for an employee as well as for an employee you know families how we can increase their efficiency level and overall how we can develop that particular individual to a next level that is your career development and how do we train, you know, try to probably provide them a different, different training so that, you know, the employee will be ready to, you know, take up the next level of job. All these decisions, we can take it uh, with the help of a human resource information system.